Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. I have a pretty darn big Dollar Tree haul that I wanted to share with you guys. I was actually surprised that I found as much good stuff as I did because I know that pretty much the Dollar Trees are wiped um, clear of Christmas stuff, especially like the stuff that they had at the beginning of the season. But I still think you can find some good things here and there. You might have to go to like one or more than one, like two or three to be able to find a few different things. But I would say you can probably still find some stuff. Just give yourself a little bit more time and hit up at least two. So let's get into the things that I got today. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you love Dollar Tree hauls. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe. All right. The first things that I got, I will do like gift wrapping things. I literally haven't wrapped not one present yet. I do this every year. I have the best intentions before the season and I'm like, I'm gonna wrap everything so ahead of time and get everything done and I just take a lot longer than I anticipate taking in my head to decorate and to do other things that I need to get done. So I haven't wrapped yet. I'm starting like today. I My goal is just to tonight watch some Hallmark Christmas movies and wrap. So I got some bows. I got this, it's a three pack of bows and it's just silver. I like these cause they're kind of metallic-y, holographic looking. I just thought these would look cute on top of a present. This is another three pack. This has the gold and silver mixed in. This isn't my favorite gold cause it's a little bit more yellowy, but it's very um, shiny. Spark I mean, it's, there's no sparkle in it, but it looks very sparkly. So I liked this one a lot. It's a little bit more full looking than this and they both have three in there, so. You can see the difference there. I also got these, there's just two bows, but I like the way they look. Again, they're very sparkly. You know, if you've watched my channel uh, for long, I am addicted to shine and sparkle and all that, so loved these. I did go ahead and get a five pack of the gift ribbon. It just has these colors in there, and these are just good to have, you know, on hand. I don't think there's anything too exciting about those, but it's nice to have on hand and for a dollar for five of them. Pretty good. I got a couple new gift bags. This one says, touch me, I'm fuzzy. It's just kind of fuzzy on one side. I actually saw these um, a couple times ago and I just passed by them. I don't know why because they had other styles than this. And when I went back and decided I needed one of these in my life, this is the only one that they had, but I still think this is real cute and I'm a fan of this gift bag. I also got this gift bag I love. I love that it has a little tag here that says absolutely no peeking. And then you've got this, this the, yeah, it's the truck. The truck with the wreath and the tree in the back. I just adore this. Um, I, I don't know which haul, a haul while ago I had um, a white, white bag. Yeah, a white one that had another car. I just love these vintage looking cars with the forest and the trees on them. So I love this bag a lot. I also got this bag, it's just gray. I like the colors in this one. It says Joy with the Snowman. I thought this was real cute. I put up a video showing some of my um, Christmas pictures and wall art that I did using Dollar Tree gift bags. Uh, I will link that down below and I'll have it linked at the end of the video. But if you're looking to add a little bit more festiveness to your house, um, on a tight budget or you just don't feel like spending a lot of money, go pick up some of these gift bags that you like and some of the Dollar Tree frames, put them in the frame and boom, there you go. Some extra and then it adds that little extra festive spirit feeling in that area. I did get one more gift bag. I just thought this was real pretty. I like the sleigh with the presents and it's just real classy looking to me. Nothing crazy, but I just thought it was really pretty. So I went ahead and grabbed this up as well. I like to wrap kids presents because kids love to open presents. But when it comes to adults, I love to use pretty bags um, for adult presents if I can fit them in a bag, which most of the time I can. So that's kind of how I like to do my wrapping because I am not a great gift wrapper. It's always a goal that I'm gonna become good at gift wrapping and every year I kind of don't end up practicing and so it always goes on the goal for the next year. But one day maybe, maybe I'll become a good gift wrapper. <laughs> I did pick up this three uh, pack of boxes. Dollar Tree has so many boxes in all different sizes. So if you need some boxes, I don't know if 
the price is necessarily better at Dollar Tree than at Walmart. Um, I'm not really sure, but I think three boxes for a dollar is a pretty good deal. And it has, I don't know what the third box design is. It may just be plain, but on this side it has, what does it say? Um, very Merry, Very Merry Christmas to you. And then on the back, it's more like kind of kiddish and it has the Merry Christmas with snowman and stuff like that. I picked up a couple more ribbon. I got this one that's nine foot with the wire edge and it is kind of a plaid with, is that? Yeah, it's, it's green with a little bit of gold and the red. And then this one's kind of similar, I mean, color wise but a little bit different looking. I liked that one a lot. I did pick up another pack of napkins. In my Dollar Trees, I never really got much of a variety of Christmas napkins or plates this year, which I'm kind of sad and bummed about, and we never got cute um, paper straws, which is unfortunate. I don't know why they did that this year, but these are okay, and uh, I just needed some more festive napkins, because I always pack a festive napkin in my daughter's lunch, and I like to have them on hand, so. Another pack of napkins. Along with that, I did go ahead and get another pack of the um, paper plates. There's 18 in here. I hauled this a while ago. This is like the only paper plate that I really saw that I liked um, this season. And again, like just I wasn't thrilled with what their options were. I think they only had like two or three. Um, so, but these will work. The other day I was uh, perusing through YouTube and I saw a video come up on Love Makes channel that was a DIY Dollar Tree video. So of course I had to check it out. I'm like, what are you doing DIY Dollar Tree? And she showed uh, a cute DIY for these, um, what, are, what are exactly, the, the DIY ornaments. I know tons of people have picked these little ornaments up and used them for different things. I actually hadn't um, because I didn't know exactly what I wanted to use them for, but what I saw, when I saw what she did, I was like, that's a great gift to give, um, to grandparents and, uh, family members for a child to give to them. So I did pick up a few of these ornaments and what she did was she printed out a family picture or a picture of the, your child with that relative or whatever you want to do wallet size, print it out, stick it in there, and then fill it with some um, cotton balls and you know, fill it full so the picture stays there. And it turned out real cute. And then you can add some ribbon to it. So I thought that would be a great gift for Lennon, my daughter and I, to do for the grandparents, uh, her great grandparents, and maybe her grandparents as well. So I did get a few of these ornaments and they still had some left at both the Dollar Trees that I went to. So if you wanna do something like that, I would go ahead and try and snag them up as quick as you can because I don't know how much longer they will last. But definitely a cute idea. I also saw these metallic markers. I got these in the gold and silver. Thank goodness those aren't glass. They're safe, they did not break. I picked these metallic markers up in the gold and the silver, uh, gosh, maybe it was a month ago, and they work really well. I really liked them a lot. So I saw them in the purple and green and blue and pink. So I had to pick these up. I think you can use these to write on the ornaments. I'm not sure. I was going to try maybe using the green on one, but if not, I was gonna use the gold or the silver that I have and maybe just write like Merry Christmas on the other side other than the picture. But I will use these markers anyways, and these would also make good stocking stuffers or if you are doing like a gift basket for someone that loves to color or a plan or anything like that, these definitely are a good thing to stick in there. I have seen so many people haul these bath bombs, and I am a bath lover, and I had not seen any of these bath bombs at any of my Dollar Trees yet until now. And when I saw them, I was like, I need them all. They're so cute. So I picked up a few of them. Again, these are also great stocking stuffers. If you know that someone that you're giving a gift to likes to take baths, uh, I actually think that I'm going to keep them for me and my daughter's bath it's called Over the Rainbow. And it just is white with a little bit of color in there. I don't know how well, it says it's scented. I'm not sure. No, you can't really smell it through there, but. Regardless, they're cute and 
Hopefully they'll work, but they would look really cute in a little canister. Then they had this one that says very, very pink. I thought this was adorable as well. It says the scent is wild berry. What does it say the scent is? The over the rainbow one, it says the scent is floral. I don't know, but this one says it a little bit different. Oh no. I don't know, I guess floral and wild berry. Then I got this one. I think I'm gonna put these in my daughter's stocking because she does love this stuff. Um, this one says sprinkled with love and it's purple and this one says the scent is lavender. I also picked up this little two pack of the decorative bows. They have these in the bigger size and then the little, littler size and I think that these you can use so many ways whether it's on presents or add it into decor somewhere. They're super cute so I went ahead and grabbed a couple because I think I need to use them somewhere. I'm not sure but if not I'll use them on a present or save them for next year. I did pick up one of these little poinsettias. Um, I just wanted to use this on my outside table and one, I have a little side table that I was going to put that on. You know it's nothing. I, Nothing amazing, but if you just want to add a little, you know, a little something on a little table. How many times can I say little? I think this will work, um, but yeah. I picked up four of these, um, what are they, like little tinsel wreaths. I like these. I love the look of tinsel mixed in with other things because tinsel does give you that like glitz and shine. I know that sometimes it can seem like tinsel is a little cheap, but I feel like if you mix it in with other stuff, it can be really cute. I actually got these to go in my daughter's bathroom above the toilet. I have like those um, little mirrors that, you know, are like the three sizes that Dollar Tree now carries, which Still haven't seen at any of my Dollar Trees, but mine are from TJ Maxx, but I was going to take those down and just put maybe two silver and a red or two red and a silver above there. I thought that would be cute and a cheap way to add some more Christmas stuff in there. I also found these clay uh, candle holders. I hauled these in my last haul. I had found them in black. Now I found them in white. I love these. I feel like you can use them so many different ways. You can paint them if you want. Um, these are actually in better shape than the black ones that I got were, but love these. I'm so happy that my Dollar Tree started having them again or showing them because I couldn't find them the whole time until recently, but love these. Okay, we are down to the last bits, which are my favorite. They are the coffee mugs, and I feel like I scored. I have scored all season with Dollar Tree's Christmas coffee mugs. They killed it this year with all of them. I swear it's the best year, I think, in Dollar Tree Christmas mugs. These white mugs with the red writing are just pure perfection in my eyes. They are simplistic, but they're festive, and they're adorable, and I love everything that they have written on it. I already have the Dear Santa one um, and a couple others. I actually think I took a picture of all of them because this Dollar Tree had all of them and I just got the ones that I didn't have yet. So I will try and insert a picture now that I'm pretty sure is on my phone, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, that showed all the different sayings. The ones that I picked up this time though that I did not yet have is this one that says Making Spirits Bright. Yes, love it. This one says, get your jingle on. How flippin' cute are these? And I think these make the perfect gift to any tea lover, coffee lover, teacher. You can throw a gift card in there, you can throw chocolates in there, you can throw you know, anything that you want in the cup or in out a ribbon or um, pair it with, you know, in a little basket. You can do so much. and. I just, I mean, I don't know who doesn't love a good mug. I love a mug. Uh, if I'm kind of positioned different, it's because my camera died, so I had to let it like charge for a few minutes. So I don't remember exactly where I stopped, but um, I got the Get Your Jingle on and then um, the Making Spirits Bright. They had other ones, like I said, and I already had a bunch of the other ones, but these, again, will make great gifts for teachers or anyone that you know that loves coffee or tea and put stuff in it, perfect little gifts. But I did not get them for gifts. They're going in my little coffee bar because they're so cute and I have to display them. The last thing that I found is this coffee mug. Oh my God, I am so obsessed with it. It is a little snowman face. It is so cute. It I think it is dishwasher safe. Yes, 
it is dishwasher safe. I actually got two of these, one I'm keeping for myself and the other we are going to give to my daughter's teacher and we have a little um, ornament inside that we're gonna, or we're gonna put a little ornament inside and a little gift card. So I think that this will be so cute for a teacher or anyone, again, as that you wanna give a little gift to, but this little face is so cute. I just realized I got one more of the red and white Coffee mugs, this one says nice on one side and then it says naughty on the other side, which is so cute. I love it so much. So if you have a little friend that like sometimes is a little bit naughty, but then nice, this is a great one to give. So that is it for today's Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the things that I picked up and gave you some ideas. If you want to get a few more last minute gifts, run out to your Dollar Tree and hopefully you can find some of this stuff. I'm loving it. Thank you, Dollar Tree, for always being so amazing and letting you be able to get cute things on a budget and not break the bank, you know, because this can get a very expensive time of year. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.